Hey there, so what I have here is a game that I made, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to make this game, and it's going to be broken up into several parts because there's a lot going on here. First you can see the timer, which is a typical game timer, you know, just so the play doesn't start right away. And this is a harder level of the game that I got to, um, where you can see lots of guys are coming in from the side. They're taking this sort of sine wave and they all have their own speed. Um, whoa and they all start at different times and every time they get to the other side you get a point point. and since it's hard to talk while I play this game because it's a little, a little bit tough the other thing is that you see the particles being emitted out of this guy when he actually hits an enemy so I'm gonna show you how to make this game let's start off by just um, going into Xcode and creating a new project and in the project you can see we're gonna choose a game and for the product name let's just call this uh, dodge dodge the skips and right now we're gonna make this an iPhone game and we're gonna click create you probably haven't made this game before but I have in the game view controller we're gonna just do an initial little setup here which is going to allow us to First of all, we're gonna get rid of this extension here. Because we're not gonna be using the unarchive from file, we don't need any of that, which is this uh, game scene.sks. So you can go ahead and delete that. And we're gonna delete this closing curly brace. So for our game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the scene ourselves. So we say scene is equal to new game scene. And this references the game scene in the file uh, explorer, game scene.swift. So we're going to manually create that instead of our unarchiving it from the file. We're going to create a reference to the view. And if you go into your main storyboard, you'll see that what it's created is a game view controller scene. And this basically contains a SK view, which is a scene kit view. So you need some sort of controller to be able to control this scene kit view. So if you click the game view controller button, you can set the view controller for this. Now when you create a uh, sprite kit, if I said scene kit earlier, I meant sprite kit. When you create a sprite kit game, um, you assign the class. It, now it does this for you automatically, but here's the game view controller and that references game view controller dot swift. So they've set up everything for you already. So we're going to leave on show uh, frames per second. We're going to leave show node count on. That's just some debugging stuff, which you can take out later. We're going to set the scale mode to be resize fill instead of aspect fill. And we also want to set the um, scene. Okay, so you're going to be able to say scene.anchor point is equal to a new CG point. And for the X, we're going to do 0 0.5. And for the Y, we're going to also do 0 0.5. Setting this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 will allow us to put 0, 0, that point of where is the default that things go, in the center of the screen. So instead, normally, if you didn't set this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then the default would be in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, which is where 0, 0 is normally. But instead, we're setting the anchor point, meaning where is the default point, to be the center of the screen. So we're going to say scene.size is equal to skview.bounds.size. So this is going to allow us to set the scene size to be the same as the container that it's in so that the scene will stretch out and be the full width of the screen. So now we have everything we need. So we're going to switch over to the game scene, which has all this stuff about labels. It had a default sort of game in there. We're going to delete everything in the view did move. And we're going to delete everything within the contents of the for loop. And in our view did move, we're going to create a function called add bg for add background. And we're going to write that function right now. And that's going to allow us to add the background to the screen. All we have to do to do this is we just have to reference our background that's in the image at assets. So we'll say, uh, let bg equal a new sk sprite node and we'll get that sk sprite node we'll create it by giving it an image name and that's going to reference the image assets and that's going to be bg so if we go to our image assets you can see 
that we don't have any image here. So we'll delete the spaceship one because we don't need that anymore. And we'll create a new one by saying new image set. And whatever we name this is how we'll reference it in our code. I have, so I have two images here. You can see that BG and BG2 I have here. You can see that BG is 1334 by 750, which is the height and width of an iPhone 6. And then I have BG2, which is just because I copy and pasted it, which is half the width and half the height, 667 by 375. So I'm going to take BG, which is the retina one, the one with the higher quality, and put that in the 2x, and BG2, which is the lower quality one, I'll put that in the 1x. So now if we have that loaded, we have it named BG. In our game scene, we've referenced this as BG. Now we just need to add that to the screen. So all we need to do is just say add child BG and that should add our background to the screen. So now we can actually run this, and I'm gonna run this on my iPhone. So you can see that the background is on there. We, we told the app that it can be both portrait and landscape left, landscape right. We don't want it to allow it to be portrait. So when we uncheck portrait from the settings in the general area, that will force it to be uh, landscape left and landscape right. So let's see what happens now. Cool, so now we have our game on here. The background is the perfect size and we can start adding our guy, our hero, and make him move around.